Now that we're done with the desktop view, we can move on to the mobile view. And to do that, we're going to go to the top right, find the phone icon, and then click Edit Mobile View. Now as soon as I click on it, I'm going to go over here to the right, to the toolbar, and you'll see that everything is grayed out. Even if I click on a certain element, nothing is highlighted. The only things you'll see highlighted is the Align functions, the Arrange button, and the Hide button, which actually hides the element if I click on it. So you'll see on the left panel that the logo itself has been hidden. Now I can click to show you again, but you get the idea. Let's unhide it now. You can't actually duplicate or copy or paste anything in mobile view. And as I scroll down, you can see that there are a lot of errors in the layout if we compare it to what we designed on the desktop view. Some things are out of place on top of each other, like here. Further down, you see huge gaps that shouldn't be there. And so what we're going to do is fix it very easily. And the first thing we're going to do is go right back to the top and take our logo and drag it out to the left. I'm going to drag things out like so and reposition them in the way that I want it to be seen by my visitors. Now you'll notice here that the headline is duplicated so the second one can be hidden. I'm going to click hide. There we go. So this button should actually be below so I'm just going to click and drag it down. Great. Now I'm going to align some elements, get that looking right, and then as you can see there's a huge gap which can easily be fixed by clicking on this little arrow on top of that first section. Now it won't cooperate so let's go up to the top here and click and then I can go back and uh, drag it up again. That should work now. There we go. Right, so move it up and get it looking good. Now if you notice, the anchor point doesn't actually work in the mobile view because there's a touch functionality. So it makes it pretty much irrelevant, but it does help us as designers to distinguish from one section to another. So we see the header area and then the about section and then the divider. So I'm going to scroll down to show you. And as you can see, everything is being cut out for some reason. You see the about section? It gets cut off. So if I clicked on it, I'll see the area that, where that page is supposed to be, which means the services page is on top of it. So if I click on services, I can actually go ahead and drag that down. Then all the section of the about, the text is now shown again. Cool. So I just have to adjust this little section right here. Awesome. Now you can see that the anchor point of services is not aligned to the border, so I'm going to actually move that in place. And the same thing goes down here for the pricing. So I'm going to drag this up like so, close that little gap. Now you can see the bottom part where we have our footer needs to be narrower. So I'm just going to click it up a bit. And that's a, an easy fix. So another thing that you should take into consideration is that you are able to decrease or increase the font size. And if um, you just head up to the top 
I'm going to show you the little icon again. It's the, yep, scale up or scale down. You see those two little icons right here. So you can do some basic tweaking in mobile view, but you are limited. One thing you can do is align elements. And to do that, you can click on an element. And then you can hold the shift key. And then you can click on another element and another just like so to align them to the center. So once I do that, I go over here to the toolbar and align is what I want to the center. So you'll notice right away everything that I've selected with those boxes is aligned to the center. Great. All that's left now is to go up here and click Save and take a look at my site. Click View Site and I'm done. Good job. Let's move on to our final lesson, Lesson 12.